Let's see the recent maritime accidents. Container ship crew evacuated due to methane leak from flexi tank Fesco Tatarstan. A methane gas leak on board the cargo ship Fesco Tatarstan was reported to emergency services in Korsakov Harbor, Sakhalin, Russia. Authorities have evacuated 17 crew members as they await the arrival of a specialized team and equipment. There is no immediate danger to the locals because the wind is flowing in a maritime direction. Nazmer Tiyam, two Iranian freighters, become aground in Russian waters. The Volga Caspian Sea Channel is home to two Iranian general cargo ships that have grounded. On February 21, the Nazmer ran aground while sailing to Astrakhan, carrying five vehicles and a cargo of salt. Either on February 21 or 22, TIYAM ran aground while ballasting towards Astrakhan or another Russian port. Storm grounds the cargo ship Manful Carrier V in the Philippines. Rough weather at Subic, Philippines, forced the cargo ship Manful Carrier V to run aground on February 25. 14 people are still on board, and on February 27, maritime authorities want to refloat her. The ship is in ballast, and no spill has been reported. Bulk freighter Algoma Discovery catches fire in Canada. On February 27, a fire broke out aboard the bulk carrier Algoma Discovery superstructure in Port Colborne, Ontario, Canada. Responding, the Port Colborne Fire Service turned on the fire fighting system and put out the fire. A bulk hauler is getting maintenance repairs while in winter layup. In Philippine waters, the product tanker Princess Empress sank, according to reports, the product tanker Princess Empress sank early on February 28 off the Philippines' Mindoro Island after becoming stuck in bad weather. Eve swiftly responded to the distress call and saved all 20 crew members. At Subic Bay, the sailors who have been saved will disembark. On board the bulk ship Carevo's Harmony, two crew members were discovered deceased in their cabins on February 21, as the bulk carrier Carevo's Harmony was traveling from Port Elizabeth SAR to Macapa, Brazil, two crew members were discovered dead in their cabins, purportedly in their shower facilities. They were both second and third engineers and of Ukrainian descent. Their demise's cause is unclear. In the waters off Yokohama, the container ship HAISU-6 and the cargo ship Misaki Maru collided, the general cargo ship Misaki Maru and the container ship HAISU-6 collided on March 2 in front of Yokohama's Higashiojishima port. Both ships suffered above-water stern breaches on the port side and bow damage to the starboard side. Both ships were still able to sail and made it to their destination, longliner Linger Pedic 89 drowned in the Indian Ocean killing one and missing ten, on February 28, inclement weather caused the longliner Linger Pedic 89 to capsize and sink in the Indian Ocean to the south of Bali, Indonesia. Out of the 15 crew members on board, four were rescued, one was discovered dead, and ten went missing. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, drop it in comment section. Subscribe to Marinora for more updates.